everything I've ever learned has come down to this moment right now. Nice! Oh, wait. I'm gonna try jumping out and do an ambush. <laughs> Emily dropped Polly out in the middle of wilderness somewhere. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. I'm doing a competition with Emily Rydell from Bering Sea Gold to see who can find the most gold and she's trying to make me laugh off camera. <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm just celebrating she's when I hear happy. my name. The rules are we can't mine for the gold, we can't borrow the gold, we can't steal the gold. Wait, no, we can't steal the gold. Okay. We can steal the gold. We can't buy the gold, we can't borrow the gold, and the only piece of a mining equipment that we can use is a gold pan. Get it together. Okay, okay, now. You are a professional. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what, that first take was fine. Do you mean to do okay. it for you? So for the women's team, we have Emily Rydell from Bering Sea Gold and Jane Kilter from Alaska, the last frontier. And in the men's team, Alex with the nice teeth and myself. I don't exactly know what's happening today. You're gonna lose. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. The gold pan hits the ground, we begin. Bad shit! All right, so Emily and Jane already started. They took off with the Bering Sea camera crew. Yeah, by the way, Bering Sea Gold, they're filming this behind the scenes, so stay tuned to see what they film. Alex and I are in the shop right now because he has an idea. Okay, so we're in the cleanup shack right now. This is where we clean all the gold. We uh, spill gold all over the place here. I'm looking at the counter and I'm just like, look, there's literally gold right here. So I think we should just kind of dust the counters off in here and then let's hit the next spot. Go, 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 go. <laughs> just make sure you're behind us and make sure they do not get their keys for 10 minutes. Well, there's probably gold over here because this is where I pack our pay dirt orders. So I'm looking very carefully on the floor because you know there's got to be gold on the floor. So my game plan, we're going to kick their because I because I said so. Look at this. And the bonus too is our shop floor gets cleaned. So we need a bag. We need like a something to scoop up all the dirt and at the end of the day, then we go and we pan it out. How about a strainer? That would work, right? Uh, yeah, here's the other stuff too. This is our cleanup stuff. It's like you know. guys do this for a living. Yeah, almost. I am actually pretty worried. I feel like Emily and Jane have been planning something just just by the way they're, they're being themselves. We hid Alex's car keys so we can go to the bar and get a shot. And then eventually Dr. Dre, the camera operator, is going to tell them where they are. But for right now, they're under this trash can. We're already winning via subterfuge. Dude, those girls are probably robbing people on Front Street right now. They're going to lose so hard. Emily will stop at nothing. Well, you know what? We're the same. We're gonna win. <laughs> we are gonna win. So Alex and I just finished cleaning up the shop and finding a whole bunch of tools that had gold in it. So now we're gonna go to the Aroka, which is the big dredge on the show, and see what gold we can find there. We packed up our gold dirt and hit the road but without encountering our first obstacle, of course. Okay, so we got into the truck and we're about to leave, but Emily or Jane, one of them took our keys. But luckily we have we have the van. We got the backup van. We almost had a walk. Oh man, that would have been bad. Alex, let me What other ways can we mess with them, actually? Like, I'll f with them and you just Tell us where to go. Dude, Jane's like here to win. Where do you think they'll go? Um, I think they'll go to Dredge 5 because we went there last year to go look around and pan, but they've got to like get wet to get there. Um, oh. So, but, but while they're at Dredge 5, we could totally steal their keys again. Yeah. Well, I think they're gonna be a little bit more on guard. Okay, yeah, I'll do a duck fart. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna head to the Eroica. That's also where we mine for gold on there. So there's a good chance there's spillage and gold on the deck. In fact, I've seen gold there before. Watch, they're gonna be here. They're not here. Ooh. I didn't do it. Should go ask Vernon if we spot. can uh, get some gold. Oh, gold. Vernon doesn't know where any gold is. Okay, let's go. Okay. It's a bit of a, a tense situation because at any moment, if they haven't been here, Emily and Jane, they will be here. <laughs> All right, so we hid the keys to Alex's truck earlier, and I thought they were like outsmarting us by grabbing the van, but now we brought the F-350 back. I have the keys, and I'm getting the keys for the other truck, so they're stuck with the van for the day. Sorry, boys. Drum roll. Let's see if they've been here. Oh yes, the nuggets are still here. So a big reason why I think Jane and Emily haven't been on the boat, there are still nuggets sitting by the comm box. And normally what happens is when we have a diver down there and we find a nugget, instead of let's sucking that through the nozzle and risk having it lost, they'll come to the surface and put the nuggets here so we put them over there. If they were here, they would have found these nuggets and they would have taken off. So we're, they're safe for sure. 
We're already in the lead because they got delayed by the keys, probably flustered and demoralized. We got both trucks, which makes their life harder because they have to transport like water and concentrates and stuff. And the shagging wagon. And, and they're just like stuck in the old van. And they might leave the keys in the van again when they go to Dredge 5. And we're gonna help ourselves to those keys too. While Alex and I were busy on the boat, the girls unfortunately spotted our van. Oh, oh sweet. Why, why are they on the boat? <laughs> James, get out. Get out, get the keys. Get the keys. Get the keys. Go, 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 go. Uh -oh. oh, c. <laughs> Not again. They have their keys. Oh, they do. Uh, the girls just showed up. <laughs> we have the gold, but unfortunately, I think they're trying to take our keys. Just take whatever you Is can. Is this Alex's? Oh, it looks like it's Polly. <laughs> Sorry, Polly. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Should we disconnect their battery? Do we have enough time? Oh, yeah, no, no. We, all right, I think they just saw us. All right. See you, suckers. Suck Call someone that cares. <laughs> this is like real. Like, <laughs> don't you Peck them a little bit. Peck them a little bit. <laughs> Enjoy your lack of gold pads, loser! Oh, go, 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 he's climbing! He, he's, he's really chasing you. He is fast. He was like running like the Terminator, like whatever the... Uh, Robocop! I think they took our keys. Oh, no. So the girls just showed up, and we ran after them, and I thought they took our keys, but luckily I got the keys. But then I realized I brought the bin down. Alex told me to bring the big bin down but I brought the wrong bin down. I'm pretty sure they just grabbed our bin. They had all the stuff that we got from the shop, which had a lot of gold in it. We literally just have to find them, figure out where they are. It's on. Okay, so we uh, were down at the Aroka and we were trying to get gold off the dredge. And the girl showed up and took our pater bucket and they ran off of it. So we're trying to find them now. <laughs> and we're gonna take something back. Polly's phone. Oh yeah? <laughs> so, well, I mean, this is a competition. I'm taking it seriously. <laughs> they took our keys and now they're taking our gold. Like, come on, that's not fair. So yeah, we're gonna find them and hopefully return the favor. <laughs> so good if we had gotten the keys from the van. Oh my gosh. So what we're doing right now is we're literally just trying to hunt down Emily and Jane because what we want to do is uh, somehow stop their vehicle. Like, I, like we, do, we don't know. I just want to get into the vehicle and I want to grab our gold well, we back. Don't, we, or don't grab, a, we don't have a gold pan or anything. Yeah, we don't have a gold pan. We have no equipment. So we're just trying to find them to see if we can do something. I could call and be like, yeah, we just got rear-ended and then they come to help us and I'll just run in and grab <laughs> okay, so what we just did is we stopped at the shop to see if they left anything in the vehicle and funny enough Jane left her cell phone in there So we're gonna use that to our advantage. We took the battery out of the truck We took her cell phone and now we're gonna hide and see if they show up to retrieve the phone Meanwhile when when we're hiding I'm gonna try jumping out and running to their vehicle and stopping the vehicle, taking her gold back or whatever. But right now, just going to hide and do an ambush, if they show up. So this is where we're gonna hide the van and hopefully have a successful ambush. This isn't super rich, but this is the Palmer and Keys tailings pile. This is their cleanup shack. And we're just gonna sample it a little bit. I'm just curious, like I wanna sample out of it, a little, get a little bit of gold out of it, hopefully. I mean, I kinda gave him a heads up, but he did say that he might shoot us. So hopefully he forgot a shotgun today. Boy is like, this is what they did a cleanup recently and this is just where they uh, throw their concentrates. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna grab a scoop and pan it, like quick pan it. Yeah. Woo! It's really slippery back here. We have a bunch of oil out here. Dan, you gotta keep a watch. Freaking Matt just parked his truck like where everybody can see it. Matt, Matt almost blocked our escape. He's parking his truck. What is this, sabotage? Yeah. Jeez, Matt. Yeah, we're getting some fine, fine gold. Maybe, maybe Sean's better at cleaning his gold than I thought. That's the problem, is that it's all ultra fine. I just pound with my hands, so. Alex is a smart man. He's gone to our van to retrieve the keys. If they show up now and they see Alex running like that, we're doomed. All right, another update. Alex and our camera guy decided to go see Sean Pomeranke's gold mine to see if Emily was there. And they left me behind here in this abandoned boat so that if they do show up here, I will ambush them. 
Where do you think they're at? I still think they're up here, like Augie's, Anvil Creek, floating around the Palm Reiki compound, digging for scraps. We should go by Dredge 5 and see if they're there. On our way out. Okay. We should totally go by and see if they're there and the keys are in there. That would be amazing. Oh, Polly's calling me. Hey. Do you know what I just realized? What? What if Jane left her phone here so she can track where we are? Oh, that'd be devious. He's saying, what if Jane left her phone here so she could track where we are? <laughs> I don't, I mean, I can't write these girls off. I hope she's not Emily, that smart. Emily doesn't even know how to use a laptop, so I'd be surprised if they were uh, that deep. Yeah, but well. Jane may know fine, Jane may know fine my friend's stuff. Also, Emily called the phone. I yeah. mean, that would, be, that would be deep, deep. You know, some really deep espionage. In which case, we just deserve to lose. Oh, yeah, <laughs> in that case, yeah, we deserve to lose. If they are doing that, at least they know or they think you're there up on the mountain right now and they're gonna come back here and try to get the phone. Just whatever you do, don't answer the phone. Yeah, got it, I won't. You saying what if they're tracking Jane's phone? I'd be uh, very impressed, honestly. You think they came back here for more pans? Oh yeah, they definitely did. And they definitely saw the F-350 and they're like, no! Oh my god, they showed up. When the rest of that cold is Right? So when I reached for my dirt, Emily took off. And now I'm captured. Polly, get back now. <laughs> Polly, get back now. I'm in the truck bed. She's heading your house. What? <laughs> Polly's in... He's in the truck bed right now? That wasn't the best idea. This video is turning out to be more absurdly like better than I thought it was. <laughs> Bro. You're, you're in the truck bed? Where was he? Was he, did he just come out of nowhere? They came back for Jane's phone and then Polly jumped in and then they drove off. Polly out of nowhere just jumps in the back of the truck. Now we don't know what to do. Are we kidnapping now Polly? we can't stop. Well, I don't know what to do with this guy. The plan is to drop Polly off somewhere where Alex can't find him. Now this is a problem. The conundrum is how to get Polly out of the car. How you guys doing? Hey, what's up? I'm not gonna stop. Where were you? What, where were you? what happened? How did this, how, how did, how huh? did this come about? Yeah, how did this I don't know. He was waiting, he was lying in wait for us, and we went to go back to go get Jane's phone. This would never have happened if Jane left her phone. And she jumped in the truck, and he tried to get his mining stuff back, so I just took off. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So, Polly, what were you guys doing at the Eroka? Oh, we are just going for a nice little swim. I would never have kidnapped you, Polly, if you hadn't tried to steal our stuff. Oh, you mean steal it back. You willingly jumped in the back of the truck, so Emily is in no way, shape, or form responsible yeah. for the current state of events. Hi, right, Polly! Huh? I'll make you a deal! A deal? But you have to get out of the back of the truck whenever I say. Alright, deal. You have your deal. Alright. Alright, I know that Emily dropped Polly out in the middle of wilderness somewhere. She told me. Going looking for him right now. Can't be too far from uh, where she picked him up. So there's only a few roads in and out of town here. I'm, I'm looking for him. We'll see where he is. They're just making it too easy for you guys. I mean, they are making it pretty easy. I, I don't know, that was a pretty dirty trick they pulled hiding in the parking lot, but we weren't even gonna go back there except for Jane's phone. The circle of trust here, just the ladies. I can't believe how hot it is out here. For being so far north in Alaska, it is hot. <laughs> so I just came across this house here, but the owners wanted me the f off their property. So I'm gonna just continue walking, I guess. I guess Polly was kind of clinging on through your life. <laughs> he was. <laughs> I mean, but a smarter man probably would have let go, right? I mean, 
I guess I just don't trust my impulses. Maybe I am kind of murderous. All right, so next we're gonna go to the Numb River and I'm gonna dive with a pan in the river and see if I can find any specks of gold that way. Hey guys, are you scaring bears away? Wait, where's Holly? Oh, oh, I left him out in the middle of nowhere. Look, yes! Yeah, I told him that if he got out of the truck willingly, he could have the, their equipment back. And, it's fair. Um, uh, otherwise, I would just drive around with him back there forever. And I'd also, I told him that I'd also tell Alex where he was. Aww. So yeah, so Alex went off to go find him. Yeah, I just don't, I, I don't think they haven't had a chance to get any dirt yet. The best thing is they have, like they have not had a chance to get any dirt. I'm pretty sure they took my phone. We've, we've totally run interference. That is one thing they have on us. They did get your phone. So we should that. probably track them. Right? Buy my iPhone. Right? Yeah, that's true. System, find my iPhone alert. <laughs> oh yeah? So what I was thinking is I would just dive into the river and take samples and pan them. Poor Polly's like stuck in the middle of nowhere and it's like hot, <laughs> you know, and he's just like... Don't let me hang in. That's a good one. I didn't know what you were gonna do with them. I, was like, yeah. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was just driving, man. I, I was like, I can't stop. He might get away with the stuff. I gotta leave him somewhere where he doesn't have cell reception so he doesn't get a hold of Alex and get rescued. Ah! Hey, bud. Sorry, just making sure I uh, we can talk. I got plenty of battery. I'm coming up the road here, and uh, I'll see if we can find him. All right, I should call Polly again. The river's right there. Maybe I can pan for some gold. What else you got from Polly about river diving? That, that's all I learned. I, I didn't watch that many of his videos. I didn't watch any of his stuff yet. Yeah, maybe if I watched some of Polly's videos, I could have learned oh. about where to look in a river. Please. We're gonna be We're rich! Done. Oh, is that a lone figure walking? Oh, that has to be him. There's nobody else out here. You know, I picked him up on the side of the road like three times already. He's been here for a week. I know his walk. I know that's him. Finally. Bro, I'm glad you didn't get eaten by a bear. You got our gold back. I it's just, hot, man. You look like a like a, a abuela, you know, <laughs> like a grandma. We got our gold back at least. Not all of it. Ah, uh, they gave me an option. They're like, all right. The choice is so he either stays in the back of the truck till the end of time, or I let him out in the middle of nowhere with uh, the stuff that we stole, and uh, eventually I tell Alex where he's at. I'm like, okay. But I didn't understand what she meant. I thought she meant everything. She just meant the equipment. But luckily, when I was jumping out of that truck, I, I got a, the biggest pan I could of whatever material they had. So I do have some dirt, but I don't know if it'll be enough to win. Bye. Nice, man. Well, let's go to Dredge 5 and get some more, eh? I need water. All right, so we we'll go find them, find the boys, see how they're doing. They're let's mess with them again. So Even if we just tackle them. Let's see if they uh, left the keys in the van. Fool me once. Shame on you. Wow. So Alex here rescued me, which is nice because it is freaking hot. Yeah, right now we're on our way to dredge number five to see if we can pull up some more gold. And then uh, I think that'll be it for the day. See how much gold we found, see if we won. I'm not very hopeful, but I'm still having fun. I gotta find some revenge on Emily. I, there has to be something I can do. So because the last time we were at this dock, we were interrupted by two thieves, we're back here again to see if we can find any more gold before we go on to the next spot. So what are you looking for? I'm looking for sea batteries so I can blow up the air mattress and float across to dredge five. Also looking for a way that we can gather up like the cons in dredge five. It'd be nice to get a broom. All I have is this, this is gross, but it will help actually. We want to scrape up some of the cons on the some of the gold on the deck, and then we got to get uh, Polly's ride, a child's flamingo toy. This is way smaller than I thought it would be, but uh, it, you'll have to do. <laughs> you'll have to do. So we're back looking for any gold that we might have missed while we were uh, interrupted so rudely earlier. We always clean the box right here, and there's always some spillage, so there's a good chance there's some gold on the ground here. You see anything? Ah, uh, no. I saw some last time I was on the boat. I'm not seeing, I don't see anything. All right, let's get out of here then. All right. Yeah, it's abandoned that idea. All right, Dan's face. Yeah. 
is our last hope for some nice gold. So Augie's family has like owned this land for generations and like Anvil Creek is like one of the richest creeks ever in Alaska. So I'm thinking, well, if we, if we find some gold scraps here, we're gonna win for sure. Not that there's much competition. Yeah. And the boys are still trying to find the keys, for goodness sakes. This is the deal. This is the YouTube video. This is the behind the scenes of the YouTube video. <laughs> We've been looking for gold all day. And uh, I just went, I went literally diving in the Nome River. This is our last hope, is that you guys can point us in the direction of, of maybe like a creek we can take. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. winning is absolutely paramount here. Good. Not that the, not, the boys aren't doing much better. They're like over a dredge. They were trying to get their asses up here too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got here, dredge number five. As you can see, this dredge is huge. Now the next mission is to float across somehow and uh, see if we can find any gold here. I think we're gonna make our way up into the sluice box area. Emily and I shot a YouTube video doing this exact same thing before. That's where we found the best gold. So I bet if we scrape it up nice, we'll uh, hopefully get a gram or two. So this is what I brought to float across. It's definitely smaller than I thought it would be but it should work, right? I'll be honest, I'm really excited to see inside of this dredge, but not so excited to, well, you know. Well, there's the ship. What a beautiful ship. All right, so we're all suited up. I got the GoPro here, so I'm gonna turn this off, switch you guys the GoPro, and then uh, Dre here is gonna come along for the journey and hopefully save our lives if anything gets out of hand. You ready to do this? I'm ready. Here we go. Are you ready for this one? Mm, not really. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Let's do it. This is what real pioneers do. Everything I've ever learned has come down to this moment right now. This water's cold, but it's sure nice. So we made it across. How do you feel? Good. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, everyone who supported me along this journey. Yeah, I got some specs here. Yeah, there see? you go. Nice. Very yeah. good. Sweet. There's a nice little chunky. Yeah, that's a lot of Nice little chunk. Yeah. And just straight from the wall like that. Sweet. There's gold everywhere up in here. Push this Every up. bit counts in this competition. <laughs> <laughs> so the places where gold will be is either the sluice box or the buckets. Sluice box is probably the best place to go as the uh, the buckets are just full of bird poo. Hey Vern. So last time we were here, we scraped out of this like center trough right here. We took Pater out of this like center trough basically and found some gold. So but hopefully there'll be something in here. How many people do you think have been here to do what we're doing right now? Oh my gosh, I mean, hundreds mm -hmm. really? at least. So do you think there's still a chance that we can find at least some gold here? I, I think there's definitely still like a little bit of gold here. I don't think there's gonna be much. A bag of chips. Ooh. Yeah, that's great. What? No, 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 no. What did I do wrong? Oh, underneath. Whoops. Yeah. That was the beer thing. <laughs> that was the beer yeah. again. Glass. Prospecting old things sounds really cool until you're picking glass and zigzag wrappers out of it. Yay, you're still there. I missed you. How you doing? You guys are doing the smart thing. You know what, you guys? I'm gonna stay out here. I think I like it out here more. <gasps> oh, sh I was oh, right. Nice. That is what I saw. That's a nice little oh, pick Oh, nice. Wow. There oh, you go. That's just one. Oh. That's way cool. Dang. Nice. Oh, what a great. Oh, we just won the competition, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex and I survived the trip. We're back. And now I think it's time to do the cleanup, which means we're going to go back to the cleanup shack and see, see if we won. What do you think? I was despairing a little earlier. like. The girls got all our dirt, but you got it back, Polly. There's yeah. some heroics. I know, but we'll see who won. I'd say that was a stiff competition, but I don't really think it was much of a competition at all. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, we still have some material left, so 
We found a couple of cons at, out at Sean's. That, that's adding to it. And then we have uh, some gold that we found out at Augie's too. I like your nails. Thanks. That's supposed to be the Bering Sea. Huh. With like little gold in it. Okay. Nobody's noticed. Thank you, Polly. My toes are painted too. Can you paint my toes? All right. So just down to some black sand. Hopefully we have about four ounces of gold nuggets in here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is typical for the pans that we've been getting. This micro... Oh gosh, I'm really squinting. I'm not seeing anything. Can you come a little closer, Emily? <laughs> okay, this is probably going to be the last pan out of here. And then I'll dump out our huge jar of nuggets. Check this out. Oh no. Are you sure that's gold? Not. It looks like lead. You it's wish. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> this is what gold looks like in case you were wondering. Here, Jane. So that's not that bad. Ha! I still don't think you Sorry, can you repeat that again? What was that? That's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were serious after 40 minutes of my walk. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm not coming back. I told Alex where you were. Alex wanted a snack first before coming to get you. It's Traitor. <laughs> Getting closer, hey? Oh my god. Hey, hey, where'd you get that? Really? Yeah. That's from. Oh, I'll have to weigh. Dude. <laughs> oh. Are we gonna dry it? Well, it looks a little shiny, wet. doesn't it, though? Yeah, might have seen a speck or two in there. Oh, no. Your pile is pretty cute. Let me see. I don't know. It's all pretty fine. A piece of lead looks pretty good, too, so. So when Emily dropped me off in the middle of nowhere, I uh, had a gold pan with me, and right as she was getting back in her car, I got a big scoop of it from the, from the bucket. Then I managed to hide that and sit on it as she drove by, and I just kind of waved. So the material that I had was what was in here, so. I mean, it might have pushed us over the wind, Boy, that goes fast when there's not like 30 ounces in there. Right? All right, ready? We're gonna count it up. <laughs> <laughs> one, one ounce. One ounce. Two. Two ounces. 200 ounces. Yeah. Oh, half a gram, half baby. A gram. Woo! We can retire. Oh my, gosh. Oh, my gosh. oh my god. That sucks. All right, Jane, drop it. Oh, oh, oh no. no. That's a heavy piece of lead. <laughs> oh, Ouch. Oh, no. We didn't even weigh the rest of it. Oh, Just shoot. this picker. You guys tried so hard and failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's the what's the punishment, Emily? What do you think it should be, Jane? Harbor jump. Harbor jump? See, I was thinking it was be a little bit more brutal. Like, we like leave them in the middle of the wilderness again. Jump off the deep water dock, though. The one going out into the outer harbor? I think that's like 30 feet. No, not 30 feet. How it's many? Like one or both of us? Um, let's see. Why don't, you guys, why don't you guys flip a to coin? Heads you, Polly. Tails me. Tails Emily. Wait, no. It's between you and me. <laughs> so I would try. We are winners over here. I thought I would try. <laughs> maybe, maybe I could have The face got. of a loser, the face of a winner. Okay. 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 Heads me, right? Let's do it again. Let's cut. Let's do it again. Oh, no. All right, so we all made it to the cleanup shack and after Alex and I cleaned up what we were left with, it pains me to say that we won. Just kidding, we lost horribly. Alex and I could not recover from the gold that was taken from us and we could not compete against Emily's gold nugget. Now, as much as I would like to say that this video is done, I now have to face my punishment. Yeah. So I'm not concerned about the cold water. Last year, I almost drowned and I haven't swam without a buoyant wetsuit since, so I am a little nervous. Is that just all sand right oh, here? Just jump over here. Do, 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 if you're struggling in the water, we'll come get you. Will you though? Yes. I'll get you, Polly. If swimmer. you're if you're in the stress, Polly, just just shout out. We'll uh, we'll throw a life preserver down. I'm just gonna jump here. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! He's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah buddy. Ciao. Ciao. I will do. And of course, Emily, being a good sport, decided to jump in as well. Three, two, one, woo! <laughs> and like the Alaskan she is, <laughs> she scaled up this tire while I just took the ladder. All right, well, All right. Done. That was a fun game, fun game. I'll win next time because I know it, and I'll be, I'll hide the gold inside the vehicle next time. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, she flipped me off. 
typical Jane. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. Also, huge shout out to Emily Rydell. Please follow her on her YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram page. If you want to find your own Bering Sea Gold, I recommend you visit their pay dirt site at BeringSeaPayDirt.com. Also, huge shout out to the crew here at Bering Sea Gold for filming this adventure and making this happen. And also our beautiful friend, Jane Kilcher, for making this adventure so much more fun. And last but not least, if you guys are interested to see behind the scenes footage of how this adventure took place, stay tuned till next summer for Bering Sea Gold on Discovery. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo.